Hello, uh, my name is Wolfie, and uh, yeah, yeah, that, my name's Wolf. So hi. <laughs> so before we get into the video, obviously, as you can tell by the title, you know, five tips for content creators for shitty mental health. Uh, a little bit about myself and a couple of little, you know, I guess disclosures and whatnot. Um, I've been wanting to make this style of video and like a series or something like this for a really long time. I've actually just been wanting to get back in the YouTube game for a really long time. So this is my first video back after God knows how fucking long. <laughs> oh my God. I have so many like I'm back videos and then never upload anything. And I'm back videos and I never upload anything. So I'm not even going to say that this time. But <laughs> Jesus Christ. Um, Yeah, uh, I, I have depression and anxiety and I used to make fun of it and just make, you know, like, be honest about it, but in a fun way, so that way it wasn't really affecting me. But then over the past couple of years, it's just been this deep, dark, menacing force in my life, or whatever. So it, it stopped me from doing a lot of things. Like for example, I'm way too critical of my own content. Uh, I have very little self confidence in things and don't think I can achieve shit. Uh, I hype myself up for you know wanting to do something and then just never execute it. Um, or I even have this really stupid habit of blocking out a lot of my memories. Actually, my therapist said it was some kind of like defense mechanism. Like I, my active conscious is just swatting away a lot of my, my good and, and bad memories. <laughs> it's like, bitch, get out of here. <laughs> or like, nine, we don't want you here. And you're just, you know, just bitch slapping them away. So, um, I have this, this horrible, uh, issue with that and the problem is is yeah great i can you know block out memories you know i can forget things not well, that's not great but uh it also seriously hurts me as a video creator because i can never remember or think of consistent ideas i can maybe think of one in a blue moon but then if i'm trying to upload weekly i'm just like i have no idea what to make and I, before my biggest issues, I didn't want to talk about mental health because to me it was like it was my own problem. It, I shouldn't share this with the world because this is my issue and I need to handle it. And, and I've learned that's a stupid way to go about it. So I'm deciding to make this video to where I can just joke about shit and have fun and, and uh, yeah, and, and do that. So let's see how this goes. This video format is completely ripped off of what Suzy does because it's great. I animate a little bit and then like do video for the rest of it. So yeah. Five tips for content creators with shitty mental health. Number one, small goals. We all have goals in our life, but sometimes achieving those goals feels so close to hopeless. Okay. Completely hopeless. And <coughs> Jesus. The problem is, is that you can't always look at the big picture. You need to analyze the steps and concentrate on the next step. This way you can more easily complete each step without getting panicked or burnt out. And it feels good when you accomplish something. Wolfie's Way to Zen coming this fall. Okay, so in English that means set smaller goals and work on them one at a time. Patent pending. Number two. Don't vote. Don't fo don't fo don't fo your content. Don't force your content. We can all force a smile. We can't. Okay. We can't all force a smile and act like we're into whatever we're doing. It's just too damn depressing. It's easier just to make something that you want to make and enjoy making. I mean, look at all the longtime successful YouTubers. Well, except, you know, you know what I'm talking about. Okay, I'm not sure about this one. This this one confuses me at times. I feel like he gets off on shit posting. He's like the ultimate meme lord sometimes. It's like Jesus. Um <laughs> and yes, I know a lot of the big time and humble and great creators have mental issues. And I know that it's not always easy being a content creator even if you do make what you enjoy. But you get my point, right? It is overall easier to just make damn content that you enjoy. Don't be a Jake Paul. Number three, try and make a habit of making some form of content every single day. Like, I know it's hard to make a video daily. I mean, I've never done that. That's like 
too much work. But you can do little things. I like to doodle while I'm at work and dealing with vicious people who don't understand that the TV is a goddamn luxury and not a necessity. <sighs> Food is a necessity, not housewives of rich white people land. And, and sweet old ladies. Uh, they're not all sweet, but yeah. Just going to plug my Instagram here. Just going to make you look at this weird abstract arc I made. Eyes bleeding? Good. Let's move on. So yeah, small doodles, maybe some clever tweets. But it's Twitter with clever tweets. My Twitter is so dead. <laughs> maybe like a small video on Insta stories or TikTok? Guess you never miss. Ow. It really hurt. <laughs> Want to be a streamer? Okay, we'll have three scheduled full streams each week and then some random smaller ones in between. This way you're making a habit of creating but not overworking yourself. And it's like extra content for the peeps. I don't know how to draw a pigeon, so I'm cheating. Here, here's a stock photo. Number four. Four. Yeah, four fingers. Be open about your mental health. Here's the thing. If you bottle up your emotions and don't tell people that you have an issue or two, or ten, not judging, it becomes harder and more stressful to hide. I mean, obviously, don't make it all about you, literally this video, but just be open, do your thing, and have a convo about it once in a while. It's like therapy, but the internet is founding its opinions and telling you what to do. All right, and last but not least, number five, believe in yourself. I know it's cheesy, but you have to remember, 90% of Recovery? Maybe? I don't know. Anyways, 90% of getting better is sheer willpower. Say you break your legs and your arms and face in a motorcycle accident. I I, I have a motorcycle. I, I'm not insinuating this has happened to me, but you know, don't don't squid. Okay? Helmets are, are there for a reason and, and stuff. Anyways, an ambulance brings you to the hospital, the hospital treats you and gives you a shitload of pain pills. Mmm, jags. But now it's up to you to go to physical therapy and sheer willpower yourself through recovery with, um, and with some help. You need a therapist and sometimes meds, but if you never push yourself or never ask for at least some help, you'll never do it. I know because I've been there. I've refused help. I've pushed people away. I was like, no, no, this is my issue. I will deal with it myself. And I bottled it all up. And it, it destroyed me. It destroyed my career. It destroyed my livelihood. It nearly destroyed my relationship. Like, I don't know how many times. Um, so just, just be there. Be open to help. And but push yourself. Take these steps. You know, and push yourself towards a better you. You know, not everyone is going to be a god or whatever. You know, but the best version of you is the best and it's what will make you happy and you may never be able to get rid of a mental health issue to be perfectly honest i've never known anybody to be fully rid of their mental health issues but they have seen it where they've had it manageable to a point where it doesn't affect them anymore they can just get over it in a way and for a lot of us that's not that easy but if you push yourself to be better to do what you love and be who you want to be and accept help here and there you know if at least if you're me it's it's here and there um you, you can do it and this is the start of my journey hopefully i can do it and i definitely know you guys can do it so yeah yay that's it that that's the five tips so in conclusion just make sure to set small goals try and don't force contents Okay, just just make content you enjoy. Um, make a habit of creating something every single day, so that way you build a habit of creating, and it's great for the viewers and the people who enjoy your content. Uh, be open about your mental health. Don't make it all about you, but you know, just just let people know, hey, I got some shit, and then believe in yourself. Push yourself, and you can do it. Yay! Video and card thingy. I made this video. So cool. Uh, this I'm not sure how long this took me, but it took me a few takes of uh, doing the voiceover. So that's that's neat. Uh, if you guys like the video, make sure to like the like it. Um, if you guys have any actual like video suggestions, like topics you want me to touch on or you'd like me to touch on, please. I'm I'm all for it. Um, because yeah, I I like I mentioned before. I I can't. I don't have a lot of video ideas. <laughs> 
I, I have the hardest time coming up with stuff. So once I like I see a topic and I'm like, oh, okay, cool. I, I know what to do there and I, I can do a whole thing. But um, at the start, I'm just like, I have no idea what I'm doing. So yeah, if you guys would like me to see, create something, please go ahead. Uh, leave a comment down below. If you guys dislike this video and dislike mental health in general, then hit that dislike button. Do it. Do it now. Oh, yeah, you know, I put you in a spot because I said if you dislike it, you dislike mental health. Wait. No one likes mental health. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's it. I'm out. Thank you so much. And until next time, make sure to love yourselves and love life. I'll see you guys in the next one. Deuces.